Hey guys, I want to do a quick video and give you some tips on a condition called tinea versicolor. Okay? This is a type of fungus that has the capacity to interfere with your pigment. Okay? And so basically this fungus blocks the release of melanin and you have these white spots on the chest or the back. It's not as intense as another condition called vitiligo and I'll post them side by side so you can see the difference. Um, it's slightly um, not as intense but it looks similar. But this fungus actually uh, usually grows after an antibiotic, taking cortisone cream, or maybe you have, you're a diabetic, or polycystic ovarian syndrome, or let's say you got pregnant. Things that can create nutritional deficiencies, things that can alter um, your, your body's chemistry, and even certain vitamin deficiencies can set you up for getting this condition. But in reality, it's really an internal problem because the people that get this condition have then an 80% chance of getting it again because they didn't fix the gut, the microflora. And by the way, you have about 400 different types of microbes in your gut. You have friendly bacteria, you have friendly yeast, you even have friendly candida as well as fr friendly fungus. And when you lose some of those strains, you start developing unfriendly fungus that can start growing on the external part of the body. So you really, if you have this condition, you really want to start building yourself up and start consuming foods that have high levels of good bacteria like sauerkraut, fermented vegetables, and maybe a good probiotic. Okay, so here's some remedies that you can apply. Uh, oregano oil, tea tree oil, uh, thyme, grapefruit seed oil are all really good for funguses. You can use one or more of these, and what you do is you would put about four drops in about a tablespoon of coconut oil, mix it up real good, and rub it on the skin, okay? And I would recommend doing this before bed. So in other words, the application on your skin is sitting there all night long. It has a chance to really work. And then don't forget to start working on building up your friendly microbes, your flora in your gut, because that ultimately is going to make it so you don't get it again, all right? Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.